Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, just making a quick video regarding this week's again. Just a quick uh, recap of the picks that I made. Um, so this is an NBA ticket I won um, with my buddy. Well, he bet like quarter, but I bet the 50. Um, still a good win. Uh, this was, I believe, uh, on the... What's today? Today is the 9th, so it was on the 8th. I won that um, <clears throat> this ticket. I bet it when um, Chargers were down by ten, I believe. So I got that right. I took them plus nine and a half. And then we also had uh, Chicago Bears money line, and I think uh, if I'm not mistaken, Matthew Stafford might be out. So if he is out, I guess that was a good pick because that I'm. Pretty sure if he's out, the odds would just jump up even higher. I took the Saints minus seven and a half. This could be a tricky game only because, I mean, both teams are coming off of a break. Um, but I do like the home team. Usually after a bye week, the home team is really like compared to the away team. So I like the spread there. I bought some points. I made a minus seven and a half. Still pays good. Also did um, Baltimore Ravens minus six and a half. I think a touchdown is fair. I mean, they should cover the 10, but it is a rookie quarterback or newbie quarterback, and so far newbie quarterbacks have been somehow winning or covering. Let's just hope his name is last name doesn't end with Allen. <laughs> um, I got the Chiefs here to win um, minus two and a half. I mean, I made this bet before I knew Mahomes was back. Um, a lot of people are in Tennessee because of their home advantage and defense and whatnot. Honestly, guys, if you have watched Tennessee all season, they're um, they're a very bad coach team. Let's just say, and very turnover prone. Just they have no quarterback. I don't think Ryan Tannehill is any better than Marcus Mariota. I mean, he might be tiny bit, but other than that, no faith. I like the Chiefs here. I also took the Rams here money line, but after looking at some stats, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I see that uh, Rams haven't won in uh, Pittsburgh since 2011 or 2007, if I'm not mistaken. Um, based on that stat, um, I mean, since I have this ticket already, I might do like a Steelers. Actually, I am doing a ticket with Steelers plus nine. The spread is four plus nine. I think still pays well. Uh, if I do hit this ticket and let's say I'm just hedging the Pittsburgh game, I should still win uh, 600 bucks, hopefully. Uh, these games, I like everything. I might just wait for the Rams game. I'm just praying they go up 17 nothing early and, you know, Pittsburgh comes back or whatever and covers the spread. Um, but if they go up 17 nothing, uh, these guys know, I don't know if you guys know this, but on Bet365, if NFL, if a team goes up 17 nothing and you pick the money line, you get early payout, meaning even if the other team comes back, it doesn't matter if it won't affect your pick. Uh, okay. And this pick was tonight, me and my buddy made. Um, we went halves. Uh, we took Boston plus eight. I mean, we could have even taken money line, but we'd rather be safe than sorry. Uh, we took Mavericks money line. Um, we took Pelicans plus four. They actually won. I, I, I've had a feeling they were going to win. I just rather play it safe. Um, I, I, if you guys know me I, by now, if you listen to my podcast, I always like to play it safe. I also took Houston minus three and a half here. Um, uh, they blew out Bulls, so Chicago Bulls. So um, I really like that. So, I mean, it hasn't been a bad week this week. Um, so I'm just hoping it goes on to the NFL uh, week. Uh, let's see. Um, so based on uh, just quick recap of the games, what I like and what I don't like, okay? Um, so we'll go with the Detroit and Bears. Bears are have lost four in a row. Detroit secondary, as you all know, their car was throwing on them like they were nothing. And Detroit is banged up all over. And if Matthew Stafford is out, I like Bears here by, I would say, still minus two and a half or money line. I mean, the spread might go to up to seven if uh, Matthew Stafford is out. <clears throat> if he is out, excuse me. Um, I might still go with Bears, honestly. I think this is a game where they come out. And, you know, Detroit usually play, play in the Dome and now, you know, in Chicago, it might be a little bit cold, so it might affect the players, I think. Next game is Ravens against uh, Bengals. Um, I like the um, Ravens here to win. 
are they coming off? No, they're just coming off a big win against New England. They might come. I just hope they don't underestimate Bengals just because they beat New England and Seattle. I hope the coach keeps the team in check, you know, like don't let them overthink. Just like the way Bears thought, I'm sorry, Chargers thought they can just go to freaking Oakland and win. Uh, good for Oakland still. Um, I mean, I still don't know how Green Bay lost to Chargers. But I'm pretty sure they're going to be upset. And I'm going to get to that point um, later on. So I like Ravens here to cover the spread. But like I always say, I always play it safe. So I'll go minus six and a half. A touchdown would be fair. I think that's what they won by when they played each other. Or was it six? So you could go minus six, if anything, to be safe. Um, next, uh, Buffalo at Cleveland. Buffalo is 4-1 and one based on the stats here against Cleveland. But this is a must-win game for Cleveland. I mean, I don't trust Cleveland. I mean, I wouldn't touch this game, and I'm not on my tickets, if you could see. I haven't bet them actually just yet. If I have to choose, I'm going Cleveland. I mean, they're getting uh, Hunt, uh, Kareem Hunt now after the suspension. So, I mean, this could be a game they will. And Buffalo, I don't trust the offense at all. Like, I mean, if Cleveland's defense plays just a little bit better than what they did in, um, um, where was it, in Denver, I think they could win this game just because Buffalo's offense is been horrible unless Josh Allen finally wakes up and shows the world what he is I mean this game you could go Buffalo plus seven to be safe I think it will be um, a lot of uh, running the ball a lot of screen plays uh, Buffalo's defense is really good don't get me wrong are they coming off of a bye Buffalo no um, this is a tough game I'm not gonna touch it myself but if I have to choose I take Buffalo plus seven or Cleveland money line just because I mean, they've been screwing everybody up for the past, what was it, nine weeks, Cleveland, that is. So, it's a game I recommend you don't touch. But if I have to choose, I go Cleveland money line, Buffalo plus seven. Okay, uh, Saints against Falcons. I think both are coming off of a bye. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. I usually don't like away teams off of a bye. So, hence, I had Saints, if you saw my ticket, minus seven and a half. I think Saints will cover the spread. Like, don't be shocked if they do. Uh, this, they played this same game last year. I think it was around this time of the year too, if I'm not mistaken. And Saints were favored by 14, if I'm not mistaken. And at that point, Atlanta offense was as healthy, if not actually, as this year. And um, this year they're horrible if you think about offense and defense. And if Saints, hopefully they don't come out rusty, they should cover this game easily so i mean you could always go minus nine and a half to be safe 10 points is good but i think saints will blow out this team it's a division game they're not going to go easy on atlanta uh giants against jets so a lot of people think i don't know why they think giants is playing away they are not playing away they're playing in the same stadium so they haven't done any traveling to be honest yeah they lost the game against dallas and now they're home basically playing a home away game whatever you want to call it uh, I like Giants here, man. If you saw how they played against Dallas, they look uh, like they look like a team going up the right way. And Jets, all I got to say is Miami. You know what I mean? The coach, everything. And you go against Miami and lose to Miami. I'm sorry, but I'm taking Giants here. You could either do Giants money line or you could do Giants plus three if you like, or even minus three, whatever. I just can't see Jets winning. I mean, if they do then the Giants are shit as we uh, assumed they were going to be earlier in the season. But I don't think they will lose this game. Um, and Jets is kind of banged up, if you ask me. Like they're up, uh, I don't even know if Bella's out or not. Let me see. Says he's playing. Okay. Mosley is out. Yeah, that defense is banged up. I, I, I'm pretty sure none of these guys are coming back until the end of next year. This team is going down uh, turmoil. Mm -hmm. I like the Giants here. Um, Tampa Bay against Arizona. So if you guys have watched uh, any of the games um, Tampa Bay has played against the um, NFC West, mm -hmm. they have won by... I mean, they haven't won, but they have scored a lot of points. And if Arizona planning to run the ball, Tampa Bay is... Uh, let's see their defense rank against the ball. Rushing yard, they're first. That's how good they are, the defense against a running game. They're number one. So Arizona better be passing the ball a lot if they want to win this game. 
So, Mr. Kyler Murray, if you believe in him, then you know what? You could take Arizona to cover or you could buy points to be safe. But I like Tampa Bay here to win. I like the money line here. Spread, I'll buy some points, maybe minus two and a half to be safe. But I see Bruce Arians taking revenge. I've seen Bruce Arians almost beat Seahawks, all beat the Rams. And um, did they play uh, San Francisco? They did, right? Hmm, let me just see. And that game was close too, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Oh, no. They got their ass whipped by San Francisco. But that was at home, and they haven't been really good at home. Um, they play better away for some reason. I don't know why. But based on um, uh, matchups, I like uh, Tampa Bay to get their first win of the year at home. Uh, it's been, what, I think six games or five games they haven't won at home. That includes last year. Um, this is a game they should bounce back. Um, Chiefs against Tennessee. Um I predict, I just predict Chiefs to win. I mean, I can't trust these these Tennessee at all anymore. I mean, I don't know how they are four and five. They've been they've been my kryptonite this year. I mean, if they beat the Chiefs, I am. I promise you all, I will never predict another Tennessee game. How about that? Because I am sick and tired of this team. But I feel like Chiefs should blow out this team. I think they're going to go up early. This team is going to panic. They might even bring Marcus Mariota back in. Just watch for that. I'm not even, don't even be surprised. Um, and what's his name is out for um, Tennessee. Uh, Mar- um, Malcolm Butler is out. So who's going to be guard, like, you know, defending Watkin or Kelsey or Hill? All those guys. They're going to be having a, they're going to have a good game. Trust me. That defense is going to be tired out by second half. Let's just see. Um, I do not know why the Colts are favored by um, by uh, ten and a half. Um, Jacoby Brissett is out. I mean, Colts have not covered a spread at all this season. I mean, could this be the game? Maybe. But based on stats, these two, whenever they matched up, it's always been between a six to seven point game. I like Miami here to cover, but always I play safe, so I go plus 14 and a half. So you're adding four points. Uh, Pace still should be good. Um, if you feel the colds, go for it. But I like Miami here to cover. Um, Green Bay against Carolina. I mean, if Green Bay plays anything like they did against the Chargers, I'm going to be flipping shit. Um, I think Green Bay wins this game. They're at home after that showing against uh, Chargers. I feel like they could win this game. Um, And based on some stats, uh, when Carolina doesn't get any turnovers, they are 0-3. And and Mr. Aaron Rodgers is pretty good at, you know, protecting the ball. So I hope if he doesn't throw an interception, Green Bay wins here. Spread could be a little iffy, I think. I, I just go with Green Bay money line. If I'm taking the spread, I'll go... Carolina plus 10 and a half. So add five points to be safe. Um, Rams against Steelers. Um, so based over here, here we go. Uh, the Rams are... So the last win for the LA Rams was in 2003. They are one and five in their last six trips to Steel City. Um <clears throat> Excuse me. I like Rams defense is really good, but so is Pittsburgh. And I th- I don't know how the weather is in Pittsburgh tomorrow, but if it is cold, the defense is like it's going to be a running game. And that means it could be a low scoring game. It could be um it could be a low scoring game. It could be um like a lot of punts. That's what I see. Um I hope not cuz I have Cooper Cup on my fantasy and I need damn points. So I'm praying he goes nuts. Um, I think Rams should win this game just because of the offense. Man, they're not even equal. Just because of Mason Rudolph. Who was Ben Roethlisberger? I go Pittsburgh to cover easily. Um, this is the same team that barely beat Miami. But you know what? Anybody that plays Miami, sometimes they just don't get ready because they think it's an easy game. They still ended up like not covering by one point against Miami. I think... Um, if I go by stats, I like Pittsburgh plus nine. If I'm going by what I've seen week in, week out, 
I'm going Rams money line to cover uh, to win. Okay, okay, Dallas versus Minnesota. Um, so Kirk Cousins' uh, prime time record is uh, kind of horrible, if you ask me. Uh, he lost to Matt Moore. I mean, don't forget Andy Reid is a way better coach than um, a lot of coaches out there. So I wasn't surprised them winning. And Minnesota was 0-4 in uh, that stadium. So um, I like Cowboys here at home. I really do. I mean, best bet is money line. Spread is not even worth it, to be honest. Um, you could take Vikings plus seven. I don't see a blowout by Dallas. They just they want an ugly game against the Giants. And if, if Kirk Cousins watched that game, if he could play half of what Daniel Jones did, I mean, with that team, they could cause an upset in this game, honestly. I wouldn't be shocked if they cause an upset. I might even take Vikings plus seven, to be honest. But Dallas should win this game. Uh, Seahawks against 49ers uh, We all saw what the 49ers defense looked like Against a team that runs the ball That makes trick plays and whatnot uh, A quarterback like Russell Wilson Should be able to take advantage of that defense But If anybody remembers It's um, Sherman against his old team Richard Sherman against his old team I feel like he's going to fire up this team to take revenge on Seahawks. He, <laughs> that's what I feel. And I think 49ers go 9-0 and this year. I mean this game. Um, um, yeah. But they do have Josh Gordon. Oh, I forgot about that. Russell Wilson. Um, Seahawks signed Josh Gordon. But I mean how much difference is going to make? Probably a bit. Um, Seahawks money line should be safe. I mean, sorry, San Francisco's money line should be safe. Seahawks, I'll go plus 10. I can't see them getting blown out by San Francisco. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked, though. Because Richard Sherman, if he gets this team hyped up, I think they could win this game comfortably. Um, and I'm not going against a home team after... Um, was it a bye? No, no bye. Um yeah, man, uh, this game is going to be a good game still. It's going to be a fun game to watch. So I'm going to wait until Monday night to make a final decision. But I like uh, 49ers just because of the matchup on the defense against the offense. They're going to be like on fire, I just feel like. And when defenses are playing for one another, they play it better. So I think I like 49ers here to win. Spread you could do either. Uh, you could buy points, make it San Francisco minus three, or you could go Seahawks plus ten and a half. Um, Seahawks been on a roll still, but who have they beat? Nothing special, to be honest. Um, yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, that way team on Monday night said they're one and seven, or one and six, or some shit like that. Um, yeah, I like 49ers here. All right, guys, good luck everybody tomorrow. Let's make some money. Peace.